Style Crew, it's your girl Jay Styles, and I'm back with another video. So today's video will be on this crop top shawl I have here. All right, so, so for this video, right we'll be using this color yarn. I typically use I Love This Yarn, but um, for the colorway that I'm doing, I already started stuff in this color. So we're just gonna use Red Heart today. And for the hook, we'll be using this hook right here. This is a 5.75 millimeter hook. This is the grip that's on it. I told you guys I like hooks with grips now. And so, yeah, that's what we'll be using for this tutorial. You guys see that I took off the nails because we're getting to work, baby. We're getting to work. All right, so getting started with this video, we're going to start off with a slip knot. So in order to create a slip knot, this is how I do it. I wrap the yarn around my finger like this. Hold it up right there, cross it over. So we're holding, we cross it. I like to hold this and use the external yarn to pull up a knot. So there's so many ways to make a slip knot. That's not the only way to make it. Um, that's the slow version of it. And I'm going slow because I have a lot of beginners that wanna learn how to crochet. So I'm gonna be making more beginner tutorials but this is how we create a slip knot. So once you have your slip knot, you're going to insert your hook. And I like to pull on the tail to make it just a little bit tight, not super tight because you don't want a super tight tension. So now we are going to chain. And chaining, this is how I hold my hook. I hold my hook like a knife. I hold it right here. And I take the yarn under, let it grasp. So when it grasps, I turn my hook and we pull that through. So again, it's kind of like a motion, a, a fluid motion that kind of happens when we are chaining. So under, And you want to chain lightly. So for this pattern, you want to work in odd chains. So I chained a total of 49 stitches before I began working. So with my 49 stitches, in the fifth stitch from the hook is where I started my mesh. So I'm going to make my 49 chains and then come back. 49 chains what we're going to do is we are going to place a double crochet in the fifth chain away from the hook so as you guys know I like to go through the back side so I'm gonna count one two three four five and this is the back loop I'll be going into so I'm gonna wrap my yarn this is preparing for a double crochet find this So you want to make sure you get under this loop. So I'm going to make sure you get under this loop. And then you're going to pull up, wrap the yarn, pull through two, wrap the yarn, and pull through two. Then you want to chain one. Then you want to skip the next bump because we are making a mesh stitch. Prepare for a double crochet, and then double crochet in the next back piece of yarn. Okay, chain one, wrap the yarn, skip one, and this, a double crochet. So like I said, you wanna work with odd chains to work all the way down and really don't get too caught up in making sure that, you know, if you guys get to the end and this is where your last mesh double crochet is and you have this one stitch, you can either skip it and just start the row. You can put a double crochet in there. Like it's really not gonna make that big of a difference if your number is 
a little bit off, but you can also count before you get all the way down there by saying skip one, double, skip, double, skip, double, until you get to this portion, to this last one, and you make sure that this is ending on a double. You can just, there's so many ways to check to make sure that where you um, put your stitches is correct. So we chain one, we wrap the yarn, we skip one, and then we're gonna double crochet under that piece. And then we're gonna double crochet all the way down the row, and I'll see you guys once we get closer. Chain one, wrap your yarn, double crochet, chain one, and the last one, wrap your yarn right in there. Double crochet and chain one. Well, we're going to do more than chain one. Now we're going to chain three more, so we're going to have four. So this is how I like to think of it. This counts as a double crochet. This is your chain one and This is you going into the next stitch. So when I'm here, um, some people put the double crochet right in the middle of the space. This particular pattern, we'll be putting the double crochet right here in every um, double crochet. I'm gonna chain four, turn your work, prepare for a double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, and double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, insert, double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, insert, double crochet. So we'll be doing this all the way down till we get here. And I put a double crochet in this space right here. I put a double crochet right there. So I'll come back to the end and show you guys the end, but we'll be doing this for eight rows. So eight rows of the same pattern. So I've chained one already. I'm going to prepare for a double crochet and double crochet, chain one, yarn over, double crochet, chain one, and our last double crochet, I like to count one, two, three. And in that third chain is where I typically where I typically place my double crochet. I'm going to chain four, three, four. Turn your work. I like to reposition myself. Wrap the yarn. Insert. Pull up a loop. And double crochet. Chain one. Wrap the yarn. Insert. Double crochet above or in this double crochet of the previous row. Chain one. Double crochet. Chain one, wrap your yarn, insert, double crochet, chain one. All right, so we're gonna be doing this for a total of eight rows, row one, row two, row three, until we get to eight. All right, so we have our eight rows coming up on the end of our eighth row. So I'm gonna show you guys the ends. 
that was a chain one, but it was a bad one, so I'm just gonna do it again. Chain one, wrap the yarn, all right, double crocheting down. And our last double crochet. So I know um, that I've been saying just to place it in here. Where it bends is where I like to place it, so. All right, so now we are gonna be working on um, our, our arm piece, the preparation for our arm piece. This is gonna be a space, and the other side is gonna right, go guys, here. So now we're gonna chain four. And basically what is about to happen right now is we're gonna work in five uh, mesh, mesh stitches. Why is that word so hard for me to say? Mesh stitches. So one, two, three, four, five is how many mesh stitches we're gonna have. And so we're just gonna work in that number. So prepare for a double crochet and double crochet down. Chain one, wrap the yarn, double crochet, chain one, wrap three, four, and five. So I chained one because it was a habit, chain three more. Turn your work. And we're going to do seven rows of this. So, like that, chain one. I'm going to show you guys the end. And then after that, I'm going to do five more rows and come back. And then coming up on our last stitch. All right, chain four. And you guys know the drill. All right, so here we are. Coming up on the end, we've chained one. We're gonna insert. All right, and right now we're gonna fasten off flip our work. We're gonna reattach to this side and start again. So to reattach, we're gonna make a slip knot. This is how I make a slip knot. And what I like to do when I reattach my yarn is I insert, I grab the loop from behind, and then I use these two tails to pull it tight. Now, because this can easily come out, I personally like to secure it by inserting, pulling up a loop, and making a single crochet. So that's the way I like to do it, and because I pull it so tight, you can't even see that I made a single crochet. So now I'm gonna chain four. So again, we're gonna work in five mesh stitches, and then we're gonna work up seven on this side as well. Three, oh, well, that's four. Four, five, Chain four, turn your work, and continue. Okay, so now we're on the last row of our seven. 
double crocheting and now we are going to chain the amount that it takes us from here to here so when i count mine is 25 So mine is 25, I counted 25, and I'm going to chain 25 and then attach to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, that was a rough 25. Now we are going to attach right there. I like for my yarn to be in the back. So now we're going to attach. with a slip stitch. Make sure everybody, everybody's on board. Now, this is where we're gonna fasten off this piece because we have to start from the beginning. We have to start from an end. We can't just start crocheting, it's not gonna be even. So, right now, I'm going to make sure that the way I'm thinking to do this chain is gonna actually end up meeting up with me so i'm gonna explain what i mean right now so this is a mesh 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 skip double 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 skip skip and double is supposed to be right here so whichever number you count at the bottom is how much you chain at the top so we're going to fasten this off and the reason why we're doing this is because after we fasten this off, you know you have some tails hanging around, but we want to start at an end so that this can be even. All right, so I'm gonna start at this end here and I'm gonna create a slip knot I'm gonna find where I wanna insert. I'm gonna insert right there. Grab my loop from behind. Pull it through. And the same thing that I did where I like to put a double crochet, I mean a single crochet in there to secure. And then pull it super tight so you can't see it. And then I chain four. And then I'm going to continue the pattern that we did. Double crochet, chain one, again, chain one, insert, and double crochet, chain one, skip, insert, double crochet so from this point going we're gonna do eight more rows or seven more rows so this is row one this is row one we're gonna do seven more rows to make a total of eight and then our base for this top will be done so after we do this row 
We're gonna go all the way down, insert, double crochet, chain four, turn our work. We're gonna do seven more rows, and then I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, so the way filming was set up, I went ahead and did the other sleeve off camera, and I'm gonna show you what um, we're gonna do on this side. So we're gonna reattach to our back piece here. We're gonna connect, and then we're gonna work in the round all the way around. So basically when you end on the other side, when you end on the back piece, you're gonna end at this stitch right here. So all you would do is finish your row, finish it, and then you're going to chain five and connect. But I'm gonna show you how we reattach. So, so basically by me making these rows of seven or however you make, the longer you make, like I said, the longer this is going to drop, you make the basically the circumference of your armhole. So if you did this, and your circumference may not even need extra stitches, you can go ahead and attach right here and begin crocheting in the round the way I'm going to show you. But I needed just a little bit more, so I chained five, and now I'm going to reattach and just add these extra mesh stitches. But I needed um, some extra space, so I chained five, I'm going to attach, and then we're going to go in the round. So again, if you're doing this for a different size, you want to take the circumference of the highest part of their arm, which is basically under, right under their armpit, like from the top of their shoulder to their armpit, where this is going to sit. So when you take that measurement, whatever you have here, you want to add the rest in chains so that you can make the size. So again, we have chain five. I'm gonna find my sweep point to join. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain four and begin our pattern all over again. They're not exactly stitches on this side, but there's holes. So you can see them as you go through. We're gonna wrap the yarn and prepare for a double crochet. Then begin double crocheting. Chain one. And yes, wherever you see a space above the double crochet is where you want to place your new double crochet. And once you finish this row and round it out, you will have stitches to work in. So this is just the first row you need to get through like this. So we're gonna go all the way around and then I'm gonna show you what happens when we get here, how we keep the pattern going, then we're gonna do some decreases and then we're gonna be done. But I'm gonna work in the round and then come okay, back. Okay, now we have chain one. We're gonna prepare for a double crochet. We're going to double crochet in this double crochet in the previous chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, it's being skipped and we are attaching, because I chain four, I chain, I attach like right here. That's just what I do. And we're attaching with a slip stitch. So now we have finished this row one, okay? So this is where our row stops and ends, right here at the seam under your armpit. And I like that because you can't see when we start decreasing. So we're gonna chain four and for six more rows, we're going to do this straight pattern. So insert, double crochet, chain one, insert, double crochet, chain one, insert, double crochet, chain one. All the way around. It's set up for you all the way around. This is the last stitch. And then you chain one and slip stitch into the top 
right there. Okay, so we're gonna do six more rows of this for a total of seven, and then we're gonna begin decreasing on the eighth row. All right, guys, so here we have our seven rows. This is the seventh row, and we can count by counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, how I'm about to decrease, this pattern is very adjustable. So I wanna reiterate to my crocheters that these patterns and tutorials are just the blueprint. I'm gonna tell you the size that I'm making. If you're making that size as well, like you can use my same exact pattern. I'm gonna show you how I decrease. So I'm gonna do five decreases every other row, and that is the tightness for my arm. So if five decreases is making your pattern too tight, you're gonna do four, you're gonna do three, you're gonna do two, it just depends on how it's going for you. I know that five is gonna get me the size that I want, so I'm gonna do five. If you do five and you still feel as though the pattern is still big, continue the decreases every other row until you get to your size. So coming up on the end of our last row before decrease, which is our seventh row, we're gonna chain one, find this stitch, insert, and slip stitch. So the way I decrease, I'm going to chain four, wrap the yarn. All I do is skip a stitch and go into the next one. I skip in the beginning and the end for a total of two decreases in the row. So this is the first, we're wrapping our yarn, skipping it, going into the next, and I kind of like to make this um, as tight as possible. But because it's where our armpit is or our underside of our arm, it's not so super visible to see. So after that, we are going to work in the round, doing our same pattern over and over again. We're gonna work in the round, doing our same pattern over and over again until we get to those last stitches. And I'm gonna show you how I skip, and then I'm gonna show you how I do a regular row after that. So decreases are every other row, because if you decrease every row, which you can, it is gonna concave your pattern very fast, but I like it to gradually come in, not come in so super fast like that. So that's why I do every other row. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when we get to skip this one on the end. So we're going to have a stitch here. It's going to be a chain one and we're just going to be attaching it to right there. So we're going to chain one skip and make a slip stitch at the beginning of our row. Now we're going to chain four. This is our decrease row, so this row is going to be a regular row and we're just going to double crochet on top of the double crochet in the previous row. So just crocheting so you're just going to be crocheting this all the way around you're going to crochet in here and then you're going to attach with a slip stitch all right again so we're coming up on the end of our regular row we've chained one we're going to insert make a double crochet chain one and then we make a slip stitch. So we're gonna chain four. This is our row of decrease. Skip, insert into the next stitch, make your double crochet, and continue on with this pattern. So again, when you get here, this is your last, your chain one, this is gonna be skipped, is gonna be placed 
in here with a slip stitch. So again, a total of five of these decreases. So you're gonna have five decreases, five regular rows, and then after that, we're gonna do 17 rows of straight double crochet, and we're gonna be done with the decreasing for the arms. So I just wanted to show you guys one more time what it looks like when we get to the end. So we chain one, we're gonna wrap our yarn, we're gonna insert into the second to the last mesh, chain one, skip this stitch that we're supposed to go into, and make a slip knot to bring this together. Chain four. And now we are going to double crochet right here because we decreased in the previous row. Chain one and then go around. So yes. Now we have one, two, so we need three more. Next row of decrease, so I'm gonna chain one, skip, and place my slip stitch right there. So one, two, three, four, and five so if we have five here that means we have one two three four regular rows in between and for the next 18 rows we're going to be doing a straight double crochet in the round so that's the end of my decreases for me i'm going to chain four and place my double crochet. Chain one, double crochet, the same way we've been doing this whole entire pattern. So we're just gonna go around and around and around until we have 18 rows. And then I ended with a single crochet edging for the border, and you guys can do that too, or you can just leave it as is whatever you want to do i'm going to show you the border but if you want to make this a shorter sleeve you're going to do less rows longer sleeve more rows and then that's so the edging that we're going to do on the armholes you you're going to want to do that here too and i always recommend to edge your work especially if you're giving it to somebody because it's just going to make your your work very clean and very nice so yes we're going to continue 18 rows and then that is it all right so we're now coming up on the end of this row we've done our 18 rows we've chained one we're going to place a double crochet and the next double crochet chain one attach our yarn with a slip stitch If you wanted to end it here without an edging, you'd be done, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to edge it. So we're going to chain one, and in the next space, we're going to put a single crochet. And then in the space of the double crochet, we're going to put a single crochet. In the next space over, a single crochet. In the top space of the double crochet, in the space of the mesh, and in the top of the double crochet. So you'll follow this all the way around, and our crop cover-up will be all done. So I'm gonna finish out my edging, and then that will be it for this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the love and support that I get on all of my crochet work. You guys are literally the best. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm ready to put out more content. So we are getting to it. Okay, guys? Thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!